Mbappe is a, is a Vinicius as well. Mbappe. People is talk about Mbappe like he's R9, played, bro. You know, Mbappe's never played in a proper league. Yeah. People talk okay. about Mbappe like he's R9, bro. And I don't, Mbappe, you know, Mbappe, I, don't, I, don't I don't agree Mbappe with him. You know I have that argument as well. You know Mbappe I agree with Mbappe has never you, played in a proper yeah, league. He's never played he's in the best league in the world. But he's compensated so much with what he's done. He's overcompensated, lads. Fuck I don't, I don't yeah, now. You don't think he's world class? Uh, People I, compare I him to R9 until, and stuff. Until no, you I'm play. not saying that. Mate, until, I don't agree until with until that. Until Thierry Henry. People say he's better than Thierry Henry. Until, Rubbish. Until Rubbish. Kylian Mbappe is world class. Until Kylian Mbappe has done it week in, week out in a league that Lord, I respect. man. He's world class, isn't he? He's of world. course. Based on what? The way that he does. Oh my days, guys, chat. Let's get one thing straight. Kylian Mbappe is the best player on the planet. I don't think it's even up for debate, personally. Now, there are players playing at a best in the, in the, in the world level. Uh, De Bruyne, when he's at his best. Jude Bellingham, the first half of the season. Even recently, I know the goals have kind of gone down, but still playing at an unbelievable level. Haaland will be getting in those levels because of his goals and because match-winning performances in terms of like putting the ball in the back of the net, stretching out the fences. None of them are better than Kylian Mbappe. That's what I'm trying to say. They're all great. They're all elite. They're all some of the best players in the world, but there can only be one, and that's Kylian Mbappe. And it makes me laugh so much when I hear this argument about he's never played in a serious league. Let's even leave Ligue 1 out of it for now. What Kylian Mbappe has done at an international level, ladies and gentlemen, you can make the argument that Kylian Mbappe is already, if not the very best, in the top five international footballers ever. Now we have your Pelés, you have your R9s, Zidane, incredible international career. You can make an argument that Mbappe has already outdone all of them, both in terms of his performance at the greatest stage in history, in, in the game, the World Cup, the goals that he scored, not just in group stages, but in finals, semi-finals, quarterfinals. He's already, I think, what? One off R9's record of most knockout goals at a World Cup. And he's, what, 24, 25? Bro, he's gonna, he's gonna wipe the floor of that record. He will finish exceedingly ahead of all of these guys in terms of uh, international goals uh, in knockout competition. In terms of the greatest international players of all time, he already sits with the pantheon of greats. R9, Maradona. Uh, oh, this is not saying he's as good a player as them, but in terms of his reputation and his resume, he has done things that the greatest players of all time have either done at the end of their career or have never done and will never do. So that's one thing for this whole, he's never played at a serious level. What, all of a sudden now we don't care about the World Cup after lambasting Messi for not winning it for year after year after year, and now lambasting Ronaldo for never winning it. His Champions League record. Guys, this guy has gone to every single big stage in Europe. Name them. The Allianz Arena, Bayern Munich, Signal Iduna Park, the Etihad, Old Trafford, Anfield, the San Siro, the Bernabeu, the Camp Nou. He's gone to every single one of those grounds and I think Barla San Siro actually has scored a goal, had a huge performance, ripped it up, announced himself as him, 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 him. I'm seeing he didn't do it at Anfield. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, he did. He was not good at Anfield. Oh, now we want to go into performances. Now we want to go into performances. Let's, let's even break down most of these performances, bro. He went to the Bernabeu and in those two legs against Real Madrid when they won the Champions League, guys, he was the best player on the pitch both those games. I know Benzema won the Ballon d'Or and he was the best player over calendar year. Mbappe clearly showed levels over those two ties, bro. It's not his fault that his team wasn't good enough to get through. He did everything he could humanly imaginable to get PSG over the line. He's not responsible for Donnarumma and Marquinhos basically picking up the ball and throwing it into their own net. What he's done in the Champions League already, outscoring at 25 years old, some of your favorite players ever, what they managed to do in an entire career, Rooney. Kaka, Samuel Eto'o, listen to the, some of the names I'm saying, already has more goals at 25 than they ever managed in the biggest club competition in, in, in Europe. Knockout football as well too, because it's not like he's just stat padding in the group stage, right? PSG have never won it, so oh, does, do his goals even matter? Look at his goals that he's scored in the knockout stages of the Champions League. He's already in the top 10 ever for knockout goals in the Champions League. So to say that he's never done it in a serious league, I, I don't know how you can realistically say that, bro. Look at the, the level of caliber of competition that he's played against, and he's managed to work against all of them, bro. He was what? Penalty shootouts away from being a two-time World Cup winner at the age of 24. What are we doing here, guys? This idea that, oh, Mbappe will suddenly then become a, a, a legitimate player the minute he steps out of France. It's kind of like the same argument I was making for Neymar when people was like trying to pretend Neymar's career ended after he left Barcelona. He didn't forget how to play football when his plane landed in Paris, guys. That's, that's not how football works. Mbappe will not suddenly become a more talented player or a more recognized player when he starts playing for Real Madrid. He'll start winning things, which will then, in the eyes of casuals, validate it. But he's still the same player he was before. The talent, the speed, the goals, the end product, the X factor, it's all still in him. He's just playing in a stage where eyes aren't on him as much. But if you're saying that a player can only then become viewed as world-class once he goes to a league that you watch, you're just basically admitting that you don't watch Ligue 1 
or that what you're you, you can only respect players that play in the Prem in La Liga. Come on, man. As if as if Mbappe needs to prove himself against Tarkowski and Godfrey, who we just saw put in two of the most comical challenges against Garnacho. No disrespect, but Garnacho, these guys can't handle him. And you think Kylian Mbappe is going to go to the Premier League and all of a sudden then he'll become world class. He needs to then go to play against Luton and Sheffield United, who conceded over five goals, I think 10 times this season. He has to go play against Burnley, who get cooked by everybody. He has to go play against Everton, who can't defend Garnacho, playing on his least favorite side. That's when he can be recognized as a world-class player. Come on, bro. What are we doing here, man? What are we doing here? If you need to see Mbappe play against these caliber of teams that literally feast with their high line, that's another thing too, right? League 1 is one of the most physically aggressive leagues in the world. I just spent this week, I can't reveal who it is. You'll see it in a few weeks. I just interviewed one of the biggest center forwards in League 1 for the last two seasons. And he scored a lot of goals last year, scoring a decent amount this year. I think he told me the difference between England and, and France, the biggest difference is how physical and aggressive the defenders play against you, bro. You go against the defenders in the Premier League. Bro, their high line literally starts like halfway up the pitch. The amount of space that Luton gave Erling Haaland the other day is comical. And you don't think Kylian Mbappe, the most devastating player in transition alongside Haaland in world football, is going to go feast against these guys. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. This is just preconceived bias and notions that you have against Mbappe that, like, bro, it's, it's almost the same argument with Kane. Like, oh, Kane, everything that he does will now be validated once he wins a trophy. Come on, man. Opposite round of so Giza from Saint Etienne. Not in the league. <sighs> the Champions League. Thank you. Oh, has he won how many Champions Leagues? No, but... <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Rory. Wow, 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 wow. That's the worst take of them all. That's the worst take of them all. How many Champions Leagues does he want? So until you actually win it, everything you do in the competition doesn't matter. Wow. And the thing is, I, look, I like Rory. I met him. Uh, I think, A, he's very talented. I think his ability to, to, to speak especially about football, he does it in a way that no one else in this industry does, bro. Like, now, are we saying, basically, that unless you win the Champions League, then what you do in that competition doesn't matter? Then, if that's the case, no one please ever tell me that Steven Gerrard is the best midfielder in Premier League history. He can't be because he didn't win the competition. Do you see how dumb that logic is? You're being penalized for a team trophy based on what your team does as an individual. That's ridiculous, bro. That's ridiculous, bro. That, like you said, Totti, never world class. R9, never world class. Buffon, never world class. Uh, who else has never won it? Zlatan, never world class. Oh, no, but sorry, no, those guys played in serious leagues, so therefore, what they did against Hetafe in Spain, or against Kiev in Italy, or against, uh, I don't know, Blackburn in England, sorry, that makes them world class, my fault, my fault, you guys are forgetting that, that's caveland logic, and Rory is a lot smarter than that, guys, I have respect for Rory, honestly, I, obviously, the Howland take has been rehashed so many times, and there you go, him dissing Howland last year the way he did, clearly show, should show him that waiting for a player to come to the Premier League to do it, shouldn't be the way you think things, Howland came to the Premier League and scored more goals in the Prem than he did in the Bundesliga, and I'm sure he would have said the Bundesliga is a farmer. We, we, we've never won the Champions no, League in 10 years. They won the league. Or they yeah, played in the they were they were David Silva. No, but David Silva was doing it week in, week out and winning the yeah, Premier yeah, yeah. League. A league that I consider to be competitive. I'm not a huge fan of Mbappe. Mbappe is world class. Erdegaard will be world class. Uh, Erdegaard's more... Erdegaard's closer and, and, to being world class than He's been on the scene for a long, long time. <laughs> Odegaard is more world class, is closer to being more world class than Mbappe. That's one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. That might be worse than his Haaland take. I'm so sorry it might be. It might be because at least you can excuse the Haaland take for, okay, he didn't see Haaland enough. He's seen both of these guys enough. And with his two eyes, his apparent 2020 vision, his 2020 working eyes, Odegaard is closer to being world class than Mbappe is. That's the worst take that has ever come out of Rory Jennings' mouth. That's just outdone his Haaland one, in my eyes. That's a worse take than Haaland, than Haaland, what, only scoring 15 Premier League goals. Because that's a prediction. You can get predictions wrong. For him to say, Odegaard is closer to being the world class than Mbappe, that's the worst, that's the worst take he's ever came out with. You think that's wrong? <laughs> Mate, Mbappe, you know, I, don't, I don't even care about Mbappe. Be, I don't give a you can't be a world class guy. player when you've done your whole you league, you've played your whole French, uh, yeah, your, your whole time. But you cannot discount the World Cup and his Champions League goal record, which what? is yeah, Champions League. Kind of no. Until he wins Rawls, it. He, he, until he wins it. He's so good. He, until he, he wins it, he's instantly to win the title right now. If he drops if you dropped him in Arsenal now. By the way, Odegaard, has he ever won the Premier League? No. Has he ever won the Champions League? No, but he's closer to world class. Has he ever even appeared at a World Cup? No. Has he ever appeared at the Euros? No, but he's more world class than, than Mbappe. Say no more. I think he's deep. an amazing player, but I do think people <laughs> got over overhype him a bit. Look at Harlem. He's because he's a transcendent really. player, Adam. He's a transcendent player. We're talking about one of the greatest talents that this sport has ever developed. We're talking about a player that at 18, 19, 20 already was breaking records that some of the greatest players have ever have never even come close to. We're looking at a player that every single week is creating history game after game after game. There is a reason why we're talking 
talking about Mbappe the way he is. And it shouldn't take Mbappe coming to the Premier League for all of a sudden people to just wake up and realize what we're watching. He doesn't become a better player the minute he steps into England. We're talking about Mbappe here, guys. We're not talking about any random player. Comparisons this is, is not... similar to the Haaland thing. Ha you dropped Haaland in. It's very similar. Boovy, my guy. My guy, Boovy. The ceiling to Mbappe. They, those two will be the, the guiding force of football the next five yep. to ten years, like Messi and Ronaldo. No. Drops him in. He scored 50 Maybe. goals in the league. Maybe. And if he does that, I'll call him world class. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's okay. You know what? Fairs, man. Honestly, fairs. I, if it takes you having to see them do it in a, the only reason we're rating the Premier League this highly, by the way, not debating the strength of the league. I'm not saying Liga is better, but the only reason we're putting this much stock in the Premier League is because realistically, that's what we watch every single week. Especially him as an English viewer, he's a Chelsea fan. If it takes Mbappe being on your TV screen more for you to start rating him, then Mbappe is not the issue. Is here? Your eyes are the issue here. You are the issue here. Until he does it. <laughs> hey, I, 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 I'm, I'm not happy. You just speculated Harvey Elliott was. I'm not. I'm not. This video at the moment is what's the definition of world class? How's Cole Palmer got more, <laughs> got better backing from you than him? Because Cole Palmer is doing it week in, no, week out in the Premier League. So, so Cole Palmer is also closer to being world class than, than, than Odegaard then. Nice, nice, man. definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Cole Palmer, guys, because Cole Palmer scored against Burnley. Mbappe's never scored against Burnley. He was 10th in the league. He's doing it in the he's, Premier, he's Premier League. Just Premier league. Just... Yeah, Cole, Cole Palmer, who currently sits for a team that is worth over a billion pounds in 11th place. But, bro, he does it in the Premier League. He just spooned Mate, one of his Brentford. I don't care. If, you played your whole, if you played your whole career in France, in this era, in the Champions League, in the Champions League. League. Whole whole Champions league. league. It, it, he ain't won it. He wins Paris Saint Germain at Champions League. It doesn't matter if he ain't won it. You can still be at the highest level, play Champions League finals, and not win. How many? If you're, then winning, if you're then winning Premier League Van titles. Van Nistelrooy never won the Champions if League. If you're winning Premier League titles. Van Nistelrooy never won the Champions League. He won the Premier League title. <laughs> I'm I can give you so many players that never won the uh, that won the uh, I bet they won their pre I bet they won a Premier League or a La Liga. Come on. I'm not even, do you know me? I'm not even backing Mbappe. <laughs> I, I do you world class. Hey, uh, in my yeah. definition of world but class, maybe you're not world class doing your business in Maybe France. it's because the levels of football He's and the amount of world class players are left. Or like the amount of top, top, top yeah. quality. Yeah. Until you've played exactly in the best league you. in the world. Yeah. Right, you play, you play. You, if you go and win a La Liga, yeah. I doff my cap. Yeah, you win a Premier League title, I doff my cap. You win a Champions League, I doff my cap. <laughs> Mbappe's done none of them things. He's done none of them. But then, guys, if I ask uh, Rory, is Leal uh, world class? Because Leal has been the best player on a Serie A winning team. He's gonna tell me that Serie A is not serious enough of a league. That's what he'll tell me. Based on his logic, Leal should be world class. He wouldn't. He wouldn't because Leal. I'm sure the one time he watched him in Europe was against Chelsea, where he probably didn't have a good game. He's not world class. We'd all just be better off if we all just admitted we were biased and rated things higher that we're watching week in week out the premier league is a superior product it's a better league but it's a superior product also to all these leagues too it's what we watched we're better off just admitting that because this is, a, this <laughs> is astounding logic. you're right because that debate right all right that debate we position it when people say he's better than thierry Henry. it's an absolute disgrace when they say that because henry won the world cup the champions league okay premier league but if we're saying the world the world class debate He's obviously world class. Mbappe has a better Champions League career than Henri. By far. By far, bro. By far. And he's never won it. Mbappe's been better in the Champions League than Henri was. But if well, Henri has won it, so I get you know, that. Not, not to me. how this guy's logic is. <laughs> but if that's the case, that's where I think football has... Like, we're just calling anyone world class. You call any old idiot. Anyone Mbappe. Yeah, we're you calling call Mbappe anyone world class anyone. anyone. Calling anyone. anyone. You're calling anyone. You're calling anyone. He'd be your best player right, since bro. George Best. <laughs> what? You, you call any old idiot world class, man. Oh, no, yeah. You were going on about Harvey Elliott. You like his <laughs> Haircut or whatever, because he lives in West London. It's an absolute hey, sham. Harvey Elliott. It's a sham. Harvey Harvey Elliott. Podcast. <laughs> This is a shambles let, of a video, let's man. Let's move on. Let's move on to something else. Let's talk about business or something. Let's talk about the stock market. Mbappe, he's gone for 150 million quid. Guess what happened before that? Guess what happened? PSG spent 200 million quid on him. Idiots. He's gone for 350 idiots. million quid. Why don't you got to talk to them? I'll have a word. Yeah, <laughs> Killing Mbappe, he'd be, he'd be your best player since Frank Lampard. You don't know he's that. that good. He's, he's better than Frank good. Lampard, bro. <laughs> ah! We're comparing Mbappe to Frank Lampard, bro. You guys have no idea about how good this guy is, man. Honestly, and it's going to make me laugh when he goes to Real Madrid and he's winning Champions League for fun because then his team will be able to back up the ton of talent he is. And then all of a sudden, oh, Mbappe finally proved me wrong. Or, oh, he, he showed up. He showed me. He's the same guy he was, bro. Mbappe would be the best player Chelsea has ever employed. Facts. But he could end up looking like Modric. Yeah, he would. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I think Mbappe would be good. Don't get me wrong. But at the moment, nah, stay on that side. I've seen nothing because his yeah, track record side. hasn't allowed me to see it. No Premier League titles, no La Liga titles, no Champions yeah. League. So he's not as good as Thierry Henry, and spot I, on. And is I he think, World Cup? And I think that the World Cup is a very easy thing to win when but you're French. Do you, know, you know what Henry wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The World Cup is a very easy thing to win when you're French. France had one World Cup before Kylian Mbappe walked onto the scene. Winning the World Cup is easy to win. That's... Wow, bro. This, this video stinks, man. 
This is a howler, bro. He did world class till he was absolutely doing the bollocks every single week for Arsenal. And like lifting those. This is what I mean. I just think, I'm, again, I'm not getting caught on Mbappe. I just think we're just saying it. How many countries in the Euros, right? Right. Realistically, realistically, yeah. how many countries can win the Euros? How many? Three. And who are they? France, Germany, and England. Okay. Uh, Spain, so, so, Portugal. So, so France are in that conversation because Mbappe plays for them, guys. Before you kind of agree that Mbappe being French, <laughs> winning a World Cup is kind of... No, he was fundamental. He scored an unbelievable That's... goal against Argentina. Well, he's amazing in that fixture. Yeah. He's amazing he's in that He's been fixture. banging goals in, in the Champions League since he... Let me just put it this way. If you disagree, <laughs> then we can move on to and um, we can conclude. This is hilarious, bro. You've got unlimited money and you're putting in Adam McCola Team X. Mm -hmm. On left wing, who's going in left wing? Mbappe. You, I can give you Mbappe for free of charge. Or anyone else. Give me a give me a player that has to go left wing in your eleven. Go. What? In the whole world? Yeah, you get free anyone. Right now. Vinicius Junior. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's funny. That one's Mbappe. funny. Yeah. By a mile. Ah! Country mark. I love Vinicius as well. Okay. What about you? We're, We're going to see Vin really? Vinicius and Mbappe on the same team next year, guys. And no disrespect to Vinicius because Vinicius is unbelievable. Vinicius is so good. One of the best players in the world. Maybe even top five. But you're going to see levels when he joins him, bro. I'm sorry. Like, Vinicius is not on Mbappe's level, bro. Vinicius is a great player, but he's not on Mbappe's level, bro. I, I'm, I, I'm not, I don't want to disrespect Vinny. Vinny is, is unreal, bro. But he's not on Mbappe's level, man. Come on. I got, I got love for the club guys, man. I got love for the club guys, but that's, that's shambolic. That's honestly awful. Rory has exceeded, in my opinion, his, his Holland take. That's worse than the Holland take for me. I'm hearing Odegaard. Odegaard being closer to world class than that's the worst take I think I've ever heard. Genuinely. I think that I'm, I'm scrambling my brain here, guys. That's the worst take I've ever heard.